day 30. Oh, how much longer do we have to survive in this hell? I got the bandages. I don't want to talk about it. It wasn't that bad, actually. We've been raided. Of course we have. Marco's been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. Someone tried to rob us. It was a band of hardened robbers, but we managed to fend them off. Thankfully, we were all armed. None of us were wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves, but we used up our last two bullets. So... Hungry, slightly wounded, content. Ooh, content. I'm glad I could help that man. Every one of us could be in his position. So sweet. So, go get some sleep. Uh, where's Bruno? Go ahead and cook us up some grub, my man. Um, Marin, finish up the... Uh, what was it we were making? The jacket. Yeah, the military jacket. And make some bullets, because we's out of bullets now, man. <clears throat> uh, God damn it, it takes components to make the bullets. Are you kidding me? That sucks so bad. That sucks so, so bad. Well, our raw food came in. Um, Marin, go eat something to get some sleep. Actually, put some food and some fuel in the fire in the stove, too, the heater. Now I'll go to sleep. There we go. No, 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 no. Go to sleep. Bruno, reset the trap. And there's not much else to do today. Let's make sure everybody's taken care of, wounded, and recovering, content. Slightly wounded, recovering, content, and tired. All right, so... Yeah. Yeah. We made a bullet. Day 31. Alright, um, night 30 you guys missed because my computer crashed. I had a power outage in the middle of recording it and it lost the data. Uh, basically, I had a great night looting. I'm sorry you guys could not have seen it. It was awesome. We went back to Sniper Junction um, and got a lot of good stuff in there. Um, as you can see, we found more food, um, tobacco, we found a couple cigarettes. I mean, we got tons of great stuff. Meds, everything. We went, I went in there with a, uh, saw blade and a hatchet and, um, broke both of them, but, um, used up my last hatchet. And, and but I'm gonna go back again and I'll kind of show you guys because there's still some more stuff. I need another, uh, saw blade actually to get back in there and um, and get some more there was still a whole other area I could not get to I couldn't access because of the, I needed a second saw blade so let's get everybody rested up um, that needs to get rested let's get the heater turned up a little bit in here um, Pavel is still hungry we have a bio update for him the sports hall survived the shelling, but to get there, we needed to cross the bridge under Grozny's sniper fire. The peacekeepers refused to help us with their armored escort, armored transports, so we waited for a foggy night and just made a wild run for it. We made it safe. There weren't many spectators, but it was still the most memorable football cup of my life. My boy was so happy. Next day, my wife managed to escape with him abroad. I'll see them again when this is over. Well, that's pretty cool. They went ahead a football game in the middle of the war <laughs> under sniper fire <laughs> little break for another chapter yeah go read um nah stay sleeping we need water so we need filters and snow snow is pretty easy I don't think I've got any components to get any filters to make a filter, so I'll start with the snow, and then maybe when Marin wakes up, I'll have him uh, make us a couple filters or something. Uh, I don't have many components. I don't know if I've got enough to make anything. I'll go check the radio, see if there's any news. Beware of bands of looters roaming the city. It's best to lock your doors and stay inside. Temperatures are still very low, 
And as if war wasn't enough, crime is on the rise in the city of Porygon. There are reports of armed assaults and robberies. Lovely. Let's turn on some classical music and forget all about the horrors of war for now. <laughs> Oh, someone's at the door. Uh, oh, it's the trader. Oh, cool. We can trade those all those jewelry we got. Awesome. Well, well, well. What's going on, bro? You haven't got all day? What's up, Franco? What you got, man? What you got, brother? You got some... Oh, he's got some filters. I will definitely be trading you for a filter or two. And... Uh, moonshine. Oh, I can make my own moonshine. I think I've got some sugar. I should have a lot of sugar. Um, let's try and get some weapon parts so he can make another saw blade. Um, actually, he, he may actually want something in return. Let's see what he's willing to trade. Uh, let's just trade them all and see if what, what all we can get. I'm just going to try and get, like, all the parts and components I can get. Oh, that's it. Maxed out, huh? Uh, let's see how much I can narrow the deal down. It won't do try harder. Okay, so there's the deal. He'll trade me four of them. Um, no, let's just go ahead and trade all five and uh, call it a deal at that right there. Um, let me see. Let me drop that part and see if I can get some more components. Okay, it's just one component more. All right, that's a deal. I'll do that trade and. Let's see, what else do we really need from him? I could trade him some meds and get some more components. I really just want to try and get like all the components I can get right now. I think that's what I should really focus on. Um, and we should be able to, you know, last a while if we can get some more components, make us some more filters and stuff like that. Um, I don't want to trade any food. I don't need to trade for any food either, so... I'm good on food for now. I've got plenty of vegetables. i got a couple of raw meat, so let's just... See what we can get. What will it take to get all the rest of your parts and components, guy? Um, I've got... Hmm, I should probably trade that assault rifle. I'm not going to use it, I don't think, but... Uh, I could trade you for a busted shotgun, or I could repair that and make, make a new one. I don't know. I don't, I don't have many weapon parts left, and I kind of want to make a saw blade, make sure I've got enough to make a saw blade. So, let's see if he'll trade for some, like, meds and stuff. Um, do I have any spare? I do have one spare one, so I'll trade... Oh, God, he'll do it for one medicine. Nice. Any chance you'd throw in a little moonshine? No. <laughs> How about I want a moonshine? Um, trade a little bit har harder for it. Let's see. Sweet. Two old medical ingredients for it. Deal, bro. Deal. I'm done. Got everything I need for the day. Thanks. Have a great night. Or day or whatever. Life. <laughs> Marco's awake. Uh, Marco, there's not much we can do today. I want you to just go play the guitar or something. I don't know if he's any good. I don't think I've played it with him. Um, he's rested. Marin's rested. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Let's make some water. Let's use up our filters here. Let's get plenty of water going. Marin, we have got some components, my boy. Um, let's make that moonshine or distillery, alcohol distiller. Because uh, then we can make some more meds to trade. I don't know how much longer we've got to live. I mean, the thing said two weeks, so who knows how you know what two weeks means in this game. I would assume 14 days. I want to say that was about day 24 or 5, 6 when we saw that message on the radio, so uh, we may have to survive to day 40. I don't know. We'll need need to trade, because we've looted pretty much everywhere now. Um, everywhere that we can get to without getting shot. <laughs> now, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Um, I can repair that helmet, though, too, but I do want to make a saw blade and possibly a hatchet, because um, I, I think ours broke, didn't it? Yeah, our hatchet broke. Our crowbar's nearly broken. I'll, I'll, I'll make a hatchet so we can get some more wood and stuff. Bruno's going to have him a cigarette. Smoke that little sick of wick Alright, got our saw blade made. 
Let's finish up here and make our alcohol distiller now. Let's make that. Um, can we make it next to the moonshine distillery? Yes. So we can make refined alcohol now. And with that, you can use it to make medicine um, and bandages. And it's probably, well, that's probably the best thing to do with it and then trade those versus just trading the alcohol by itself. Kind of wish I'd held on to a little more moonshine when I was able to make a bunch of it. Because now it's so hard to make because we need water all the time. So, um, speaking of, I probably need to make some more water. I mean, some more filters to make some more water because I don't think I've got enough. Well, I do have one moonshine, don't I? I traded him for one, so... Yeah. I do... You know what? I've already got one pure alcohol. That's right. Alright, so we got one moonshine and one alcohol. So, let's see what does it take to make pure alcohol. It takes moonshine, a filter, and some fuel. Okay, so let's go make a filter. Uh, Bruno, you're done smoking? Get that heater warm. Um, yep, yeah, make us another filter. And what else? Everybody ate yesterday, so I'm not gonna... I'm not going to worry about food today. <clears throat> Bruno, just keep having a seat today, I guess. We'll make food tomorrow and everybody will eat tomorrow. Alright, so we got our filter. Let's go make some moonshine. I don't know how long that's going to take. Probably won't be ready until tomorrow because it's already 4.30. But let's go ahead and make ourselves... Oh, we get two of them. From one bottle of moonshine, we get two pure alcohol. That's nice. Haha. <laughs> um... Also, I figured out the, one of the things with the heater, I mean, it makes sense, I just didn't realize it, why a couple people got sick overnight, like when I came back the next morning, they were sick, is because my heater was burning down overnight, and it was getting really cold in here at night, and they were getting sick, so what I realized I need to do is stoke the fire, put some more fuel in it during the day, just before the end of the, oh man, that makes it fast too, uh, put some more fuel in it just before the end of the day, and that way it stays warmer in here overnight. And I've, nobody's gotten sick since I realized that. Um, because we got some alcohol. Let's see if we can make some bandages with it. Maybe some cigarettes or something. Oh, speaking of, there's our damn herbs came in. <laughs> Sweet. Let's let him get the herbs first. Go grab the herbs, um, and I'm going to plant some vegetables and get some vegetables going there. Oh, man. We might just survive this. <laughs> Vegetables. Uh, oh, I need water. Son of a bitch! Make a filter. Oh, I'll need snow too, won't I? Damn it. Alright, so we're not going to get all that done today. <laughs> yeah, I got our filter done. Um, we can make, ah, there we go, medication. So we can use the herbs and the uh, medical ingredients, and we can make ourselves some homemade medication. What do we need to make the bandage? Oh, more components. Oh, big surprise. Um, uh, I will make the medication, so that's, that seems, that seems legit. That's, like, a pretty good deal there. I guess tomorrow we'll melt some more snow, get some more water, make some more food, all that stuff. The night, back at Sniper Junction. All right, Marco, you are going to scavenge. Uh, Pavel's still going to sleep because he's still ill. Marin, uh, Marin, I want you to guard tonight. Bruno, you get some sleep so you can get up tomorrow morning and finish making that uh, water and food first thing in the morning. Let's get out here at the Sniper Junction one last time. It's probably going to be the last time we have to get out here. Take a crowbar and a saw blade. And I think... I think that's pretty much all we need to take. Let's get out here. Oh, no, no, no. Get the helmet, just in case. I don't want to get him shot in the face and die. Just in case we screw up. <laughs> we'll take the helmet. Alright, Marco. Everybody's depending on you to not get shot. Alright, Sniper. Are you going to shoot? He's not shooting. Run, run, run. There he is. There he is. There's our friendly sniper. Friendly neighborhood sniper. He's an a-hole who shoots at everything. <laughs> 
All right, that one's just wood. We know that. Let's get in here and get upstairs and get the last. I think we got everything downstairs. I'm going to check it really quick. Oh, oh, no, wait. There was something up here we could get, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some meds right here we left. Um, we can open that door with a crowbar. Yeah, we had to leave some meds last time, so let's grab that. Break through here. I think that's the only door we needed the crowbar for. I don't know. There may be one other one. I think it was just wood downstairs that I had left from uh, the last time I'd used the hatchet and it broke. So there's just wood, maybe a little bit of fuel down there. There is some, still some things upstairs. I just I don't remember what all I... There's the point to use the saw blade, so let's get up there and do that. Door is graded, but I can get through it using my saw blade. Okay, well, let's use it then. I got two loot points in here. Let's see what all we can find. <clears throat> Item is broken. It's so much better if I could get two... Oh, it's just wood? Oh, that sucks. Alright, what all can we get in here? Anything else? A uh, cigarette, a broken guitar, or a damaged helmet and a damaged vest. Okay, well that's good stuff. We could trade that. We might be able to repair it. I don't know. We can definitely trade it. And is that tobacco? Okay, okay. Anything else? A book. I'll take that. And some rats in there. Oh, there's still some stuff in here. Is there? Can I get up? Why can't I get up there? There's clearly something up there. How do I get up there, though? Doesn't look like there's anywhere to loot. Okay, that's just wood. I'm gonna leave that and see what's in this one. Doesn't look like there's anything to loot up there, but there's certainly a, another floor to this. Oh, well, that's all wood, too. Okay. I didn't notice anywhere else to get upstairs, so we may not be able to get up there. It may just be there to tease us. Um, this is just wood, and I think the uh, only other loot point was on the way out and it was just wood too so let's sort some of our inventory um, throw the lumber down here at the uh, this little loot point right here throw all the lumber in here go back grab and make sure we got everything out of the building and we'll just use this as our exit looting point right here uh, throw the lumber in and go back one last time into the building this will probably be the last time we have to go in here. There was some stuff upstairs, a little bit of wood up here, and a little bit of wood downstairs, and that's about it. Uh, get up there. There we go. Last of the wood upstairs. Check. And let's get downstairs and get that wood down here on the bottom floor. If we had a hatchet, we could chop this up, but our hatchet broke, and I didn't have enough stuff to make a new one, I don't think, so... It doesn't matter all we're going to get out of lumber and a little bit of fuel. But if with with lumber, we can make more fuel. So either way, we're all right. Our inventory is full, so that's just going to be another stack of lumber. Let's get out of here, call it a night. Pretty quick, short night looting. Go, go, go. Watch out for the sniper. <clears throat> for him to take his shot and miss. There we go. Run. Run, run, run. Take a shot. Run, 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 go! <laughs> That's crazy. Every time it's like dodging sniper fire to go loot wood and shit. 